Okay, this is a fast tutorial on how to use Google Hangouts Meet in order to do synchronous presentations with your class. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to open a browser window. There are, there are different ways to do it, but one way is to open a browser window and go to meet.google.com, nothing after it. And the first thing that you'll need to do is make sure that you're signed in. So you'll sign in up here with your um, westmont.edu account. When you do that, you click here to join or start a meeting and you give it some kind of a nickname or code. Doesn't really matter, it's just to reference it. Hit continue. And then you'll enter into a kind of lobby situation where you're not actually in the meeting yet, but you're ready to be in the meeting. One thing I definitely recommend is that everyone who is in the meeting has headphones on so that you eliminate feedback that you would otherwise get. Um, so right now we're in the lobby. We're not actually doing anything in the meeting. The camera is just temporarily active. And so when we're ready to join the meeting, we can join the meeting by clicking this join meeting button, or if we want to, we can set up some settings for what camera we're using or what microphone we're using. When we're ready, we can join the meeting. And if you wanna share this meeting with other people, you send them this URL here, and that URL they will be able to open in their browser and then they'll participate in the meeting. Right now it's just me in the meeting, so let's take a look at what our options are when we're there. I can um, turn on and off my camera here. I can turn on and off my microphone here. I can leave the conversation with this button here. Um, over here, I can turn on automatic captioning. So that is going to do something where it tries to automatically read your speech for you and provide text underneath it. That's good for if you're in an environment where you can't hear. Um, and then finally, often what people will want to do is they will want to present their screen. So you can do a kind of screen presentation. And so if I hit present now, you can present your entire screen or a window. So let me, for example, get up a... Uh, sketchbook app and then I'm going to go ahead and present that select window and I'm going to present my sketchbook app I'll share that and now instead of my video being broadcast at least in a second there we go instead of my video being broadcast uh, I have this image being broadcast that's hooked up to a tablet that I have this is an app that you could use any app that you might want um, do your graphs, do whatever you have, you're interested in doing, and then when you're done screen sharing, you can hit stop presenting, and it will go back to just presenting you. Uh, if you want, I'm going to turn off captions. If you want to see who's in your chat, you can click there and see all the people in your chat. And then in the background, there is a text-based back channel um, that everyone gets access to. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, there's one other interesting way to do it, which is through Google Calendar, which I'll show you in a second. Hang up.